Open the, open the door, please, Veronica. Open the door, Veronica. Can we not fight anymore, please? Can we not fight anymore, Veronica? Sure, you're scared. I've been there. I can set you free, Veronica. Don't make me come in there. I'm gonna count. Veronica! Open the, open the door, please, Veronica. Open the door, Veronica. Can we not fight anymore, please? Can we not fight anymore? Veronica, open the, open the door, please, Veronica. Open the door, Veronica. Can we not fight anymore, please? Can we not fight anymore? Veronica, sure you scared of them? There, I can set you free. Veronica, don't make me come in there. I'm gonna count. Open the, open the door, please, Veronica. Open the door, Veronica. Can we not fight anymore, please? Can we not fight anymore, Veronica? Sure, you're scared. I've been there. I can set you free, Veronica. Don't make me come in there. I'm gonna count. Cat sit for a millionaire or babysit for a billionaire. I do love cats, but I am allergic, and I think the billionaires are gonna pay more. Thank you for coming. How does five thousand an hour sound? Five thousand. Mm-hmm. Is that too low for you? No, no. That's plenty. Excellent. Okay, let me see. Let me just go get the kids. This is Tabitha and Thomas. Now let's go over the rules. Okay. And lastly, bedtime is at 8. Question. When you say the kids aren't allowed outside, how do they go to school? Tabitha is homeschooled. Oh, okay. And of course, our son is just a baby. Time for us to go. Yes, don't you worry, Mr. and Mrs. Parker. Your kids are in great... hands. Five little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bonked his head. Oh, it's already eight o'clock. It's time for bed. Uh, Sarah? Yes? Sometimes I dream that I have a different mommy and daddy and I get scared. They're just dreams to her. You sleep well, okay? Good night. Good night, Sarah. I can't believe I'm working for billionaires. Is that blood? And it just dripped on me from the attic. You saw blood. Yeah, and I'm just a bit concerned because... <laughs> <laughs> blood in the I attic. Don't, I don't really see how this is funny. The blood must have been from our Halloween decorations. We stole them in the attic. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry, guys. I may have overreacted a bit. Oh, you poor thing. You were probably terrified. Here's a $100 gift card for your troubles. Well, thank you, but are you sure you don't want my help cleaning up all that mess? No, yeah, thank you. Oh, next Saturday. Yes, of course. Excellent. See you then. Bye-bye now. Please make sure Tabitha does not go in the guest bedroom. We're renovating it, and it's not safe for children. Yes, of course. Understood. <gasps> Sawa! Tabitha, hi! Are you ready to play some games? <laughs> yeah, I missed you. Come on, follow me. I want to play in here. No, no, Tabitha, you're not supposed to go in there. Tabitha, I really don't appreciate you not listening. I'm sorry. I thought your parents said they were renovating this room. W what does renovating mean? It means like to fix it up and make it pretty. It's already pretty. Is that blood on the countertop? Huh? You know what, I'm sorry. It's probably just from your Halloween decorations. Mommy and Daddy, they, they don't decorate for Halloween. What? Me and Daddy, they, they don't decorate for Halloween. What? The blood must have been from our Halloween decorations. And that means this blood must be real. If that blood was real, then I'm lucky to have made it home alive. But whose blood would it have been? Sometimes I dream that I have a different mommy and daddy and I get scared. What if Mr. and Mrs. Parker killed Tabitha and Thomas's real parents and that was their blood in the attic? It's them. Hello? We need you, ASAP. Thank you for agreeing to come. See you. See you. If something really is going on there, I'm gonna have to prove it. So when Mr. and Mrs. Parker leave, I'm gonna investigate the attic myself. Hopefully this is tall enough to reach the attic. Sawa, well, what are you doing? Tabitha, I told you to go watch Coco Melon. No, I want to be with you. What's that? It's an Amber Alert for a missing baby, and it's a picture of your baby brother. I think these kids were kidnapped. What's going on? There's no time to explain, sweetheart. We have to go. I'm scared. Shh, it's gonna be okay. They're home. What's going on? There's no time to explain, sweetheart. We have to go. I'm scared. Shh, it's gonna be okay. They're home. 
Sarah, please don't hide. We know you saw the Amber Alert, but we can explain. Tabitha, she's calling you. She's trying to trick you. I told you she's not your real mom. I think they're gone. Are you going to call the police? My phone died. Shh, Thomas, stop crying. Found you. Don't be scared. Just because the kids are stolen, it doesn't mean we don't love them. No, you leave the children alone. Yeah. Tabitha. <sighs> what a shame. You're just like our last babysitter. What did you do to her? The blood in the attic. That was hers. And now you're... Oh, oh. Surprise. I'm still alive. Susie. I'm okay. Just call the police. Go get help. Come on, Tabitha. Let's go. Thank you for finding my daughter. And thank you for finding my son. You should really thank the other babysitter. She she was the real hero. It was both of you. You both are responsible for reuniting two children back with their families. I'm glad everyone's okay. Me too. Tabitha wanted to know if you would st get a winning lottery ticket or give a winning lottery ticket. I mean, my parents, they're already millionaires, but a little extra cash never hurt. Excuse me, do you have any money? My parents abandoned me and... I'm sorry, I, I shouldn't have bothered you. Wait! He needs this. I picked this one. Hey, wait up! Dude, wait. What's what's that on the floor over there? Huh? What the heck? What is this? It looks like a lottery ticket. You should probably scratch it, you know, and see if you want anything. You think? Okay. No way. No freaking way! I won! Well, congrats. You should probably go cash that in. I just won a million dollars! <laughs> What was your name? Uh, my name's Jace. I'm Lindsay. It's really nice to meet you. Did you hear about the super attractive guy that transferred here? No. It doesn't matter. Rachel snatched him up anyways. Of course she did. She literally gets all the guys. Surprise! Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Jace? Well, congrats. You should probably go cash that in. I just won a million dollars. <laughs> what was your name? Uh, my name's Jace. I'm Lindsay. It's really nice to meet you. Did you hear about the super attractive guy that transferred here? No. It doesn't matter. Rachel snatched him up anyways. Of course she did. She literally gets all the guys. Surprise! Hey! <laughs> Wait. Jace? Huh? Are you his friend? Well, I thought he was my friend. I just met her. Hey, what's this? That's not funny. This is special to me. Let go! Relax. No, dude, let go! Oh, poor baby. Whatever, she's no fun. Who wants to go shopping at Gucci with me? Hi, Gail. What happened to you? What can I say? Money changes people. I need to talk to you. Um, sorry. Jace is busy. Back off, Rachel. This is important. Listen, the only reason that you're rich, Jace, is because of me. <laughs> I'm being serious. You saw something on the floor and told me to look. That's it. I was the one that got the ticket for you and put it for you on the floor. Girl, you need to stop lying. It's embarrassing. It says it above my head. Oh, you want to know what sucks? Only you can see that. You're in love with Jace, admit it. I am not. Right, so all this is not you trying to get his attention? Girl, be for real. Yo, Jace. What's up? Looks like Lindsay was telling the truth. Check out this video. Dude, wait. What's, what's that on the floor over there? Huh? So she did throw the lottery ticket on the floor for me? Yeah. Damn it, I gotta go talk to her. Jace, it looks like she needs water. Maybe give her this? Yeah, okay. Hey, I saw the viral video. I'm really sorry. So what you're saying is it took video proof for you to believe me? Nice. Wait, I want to make it up to you. I literally- You're in love with Jace, admit it. I am not. Right, so all this is not you trying to get his attention? Girl, be for real. Yo, Jace. What's up? Looks like Lindsay was telling the truth. Check out this video. Dude, wait. What's, what's that on the floor over there? Huh? So she did throw the lottery ticket on the floor for me? Yeah. Damn it, I gotta go talk to her. Jace, it looks like she needs water. Maybe give her this? Yeah, okay. Hey, I saw the viral video. I'm really sorry. So what you're saying is it took video proof for you to believe me? Nice. Wait, I want to make it up to you. I literally owe you big time. I'll buy you anything. I don't know. Don't you want to go hang with Rachel and all her friends? Not really. Uh-huh. Well, I'm gonna go get some water. Hang on. It's funny you say that because I have some right here. Are you sure that this was just water? I mean, yeah, Rachel gave it to me. Rachel? What? Yeah, she just said you looked thirsty. Girly Pop, that's my water. I hope you don't mind it has lemon. Lemon? But I'm allergic to lemon. What? Girly Pop, that's my water. I hope you don't mind it has lemon. Lemon? But I'm allergic to lemon. What? 
She is not. I've seen her drink lemonade. Rachel, she's obviously having a reaction. Girl, you don't have like an EpiPen or something? No, I, I didn't bring mine today. Well, that was dumb. I'm gonna go see if I can find a teacher. Rachel, hurry. It's getting really hard for me to breathe. Where the heck did Rachel go? She's supposed to be getting help. Jeez, I can barely breathe. Okay, we gotta get you help. There's a hospital down the street. Come on. Someone please help. She's having an allergic reaction. Bring her over here. We'll take care of her. This way, hurry. Someone please help. She's having an allergic reaction. Bring her over here. We'll take care of her. This way, hurry. Jeez. Lindsay? Oh, thank God you're okay. The doctor said that I'm free to walk around for a little bit. Oh, good. Do you need me to call your parents or anything? No, I've already tried. My parents are both actors and they're on a plane right now to Spain to shoot a movie. Oh, well. Whoa. Sorry. It's okay. You should probably go back and sit down. Yeah, probably. Easy now. And I want you to know I'm covering all your medical bills. You didn't have to- It's the least that I can do, Lindsay. Really. Also, I brought this for you. I remember you said it was special to you. Thanks. I also got you a few things, too. Those enough? Because I could buy more. Yeah, I think- I think this is good, thank you. Hey, you made me a millionaire. I literally owe you everything. And I'm sorry. Hey, get back here! <laughs> Officer, wait, see? She's fine! I don't need to go to Juvie! Jeez, help me out! Sorry, Rachel. Really hope you learn your lesson. Come on, let's get out of here. Uh, no! Really, guys? You got me a paint set for my birthday? Sweetheart, that is a special paint set. This thing doesn't even come with a paintbrush. Press a color. Um, okay... What is 13 times 379? 4,927. Excuse me? What the? I believe that's the answer. 4,927. That's right. Oh, what, what the hell? You didn't use a calculator. How did you... This power is making me super smart. Wanna ditch class and go to the mall? Yeah, but the probability of us getting caught is like 80%. I'll take my chances, Einstein. Let's go to the American Girl store. Okay. Aw, look at the cute girl and her doll. Hey, kid, did you know that American Girl dolls were invented in 1986? I think I know more about American Girl yeah. dolls than you do, You genius. never kiss any American Girl set. Pick a color. Hmm. I think I'm gonna pick red today. Oh, I'm gonna fail this test. Hey, chill. <laughs> Whoa. What? Are you by any chance wanting to become a doctor? How do you know that? Yeah, you know what? I just had this feeling, and uh, I would not sweat that test if I were you. You're gonna be just fine. I heard you could see the future. Sorry, I really don't know what you're talking about. Actually, give me your hand. What did you say your name was? Adrian. Why? Well, you could have this back. And just, um, stay away from me. Please tell me my future. Fine, but you're the last one I'm doing today. No holograms. No holograms. No! No, 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 no! No holograms! What? What did you see? On Wednesdays, we wear pink. Sweetheart, Fluffy needs a bath. No way, that dog does not like me. Yes, she does. <laughs> see? You see? Hold her! No, no, no. Aww. Why did you never do this to me before? Hey, Darren, I think you left your phone in class. Aw, oh, jeez, thanks. I... I love you. What? Yeah, will you please be my girlfriend? Yes. I mean... Yes. I think this power makes anyone I touch fall in love with me. Sweetheart, I brought the team over for dinner. Please shake everyone's hand. Introduce yourself. Oh, no, I don't think that's a good idea. Too stuck up to shake our hands? No, it's not that. I just... Uh -huh. That's rude, bruh. You know what? Fine. Nice to meet you. Why are you guys looking at me like that? Great work on your mission today. Thank you, sir. I'll see you shortly. Nice. Text message from John. He says, I miss you. Would you like to respond? Tell him I miss you too. Sent. Thinking about your boyfriend, huh? Yeah. How cute. You know Director Johnson doesn't approve. Look, I love Johnson, but sometimes he's just way too overprotective. I mean, it's not like he's my dad. The man did practically raise you. I know, but my relationship is my business. <clears throat> Agent 22. Director Johnson wants to see you. Somebody's in trouble. Shut up. Sir? 
You wanted to see me? Maya, I'm sorry, but we have reason to believe your boyfriend John has been involved in criminal activity and has been using you for intel. No, no, he wouldn't do that, and you promised me you wouldn't do a background check on him. I know, but since your relationship was getting more serious, I had to. I'm sorry. He's involved with the Mafia? Yes. I need you to bring him in. You think you can handle that? Consider it done. I knew he was too perfect. And here I was, planning for a marriage proposal. Meanwhile, he was probably planning my funeral. He's not getting away with this. Babe? Hey. You're, you're home, home early. early. Jinx, you owe me a soda. I'll do you one better, baby. I actually bought us some drinks. Your favorite. You're, you're home, home early. early. Jinx, you owe me a soda. I'll do you one better, baby. I actually bought us some drinks. Your favorite. Oh, did you? What's the occasion? Does there need to be an occasion? No. No, of course not. Where's the drink? I'll pour it. Oh, no, baby. You just sit back and relax. I got this. At least let me cook us some dinner, sweetheart. No, thanks, baby. I'm not hungry. To us. To us. <clears throat> this has, uh, kind of a kick to it. Didn't notice. Uh-huh. So, how long you been a spy? Excuse me? Cut the crap, Maya. My boss found out about your little investigation on me. All right. You caught me. My boss wants me to bring you in. That's funny. Mine asked me to do the same thing. Well, I hate to break it to you, baby, but that's not happening. I made your drink very special. I know. So it's a good thing I switched them, isn't it? What? I made your drink very special. I know. So it's a good thing I switched them, isn't it? What? How did you switch the drinks? Well, that was easy. You looked down for a few seconds to check your phone. I'm guessing it was your boss texting you. I got closer to you, which naturally made you more defensive. And while I was busy trying to hide my phone screen, you switched the drinks. Look who's finally catching on. You sick son of a... Oh, easy now. Let go of me, you deceitful little... Just relax. It's over, Maya. I have her, sir. Bring her to me. Yes, sir. Hey, it's okay. You're gonna be okay. What the hell are you doing? I accidentally hit her head, taking her out of the car. You know you're not actually her boyfriend. Yes, sir. I was just... She was an assignment. I understand. Good. Time to wake up. Hello, Maya. I've waited a long time to meet you. Time to wake up. Hello, Maya. I've waited a long time to meet you. Where am I? Like I'm gonna tell you that. What do you want from me? He just wants to talk. Shut up, John. I wasn't talking to you. Well, John, you were right. She is feisty. So listen, I got questions, and if you don't give me answers, things are gonna get ugly. Do whatever you want. I'm not saying anything. Maya, don't do this. Nah, John, it's fine. This is gonna be fun. Mm -hmm. Say it! <clears throat> John, hand me that knife. Okay, wait. I'll tell you. All right, so then tell me who your target was the day you met John. Rick. Rick Lawson. You see, John? Her team has been on to us since the beginning. Ricky didn't just disappear. You killed him, didn't you? He, he left me no choice. <clears throat> Liar. Let's give her a break. A break? She's now a threat to our entire organization. She's done. Wait a minute. This is not what we discussed. She killed Ricky. Sir, listen to me. No, you listen. You're doing this. You want me to... Should I tell the head leader you can't complete the job? That won't be necessary. Now, before I kill him, I... You're not gonna touch her ever again! You killed him. I'm gonna get you out of here. <gasps> hey, you're awake. What happened? Where are we? It's okay. You're safe now. You passed out after I killed Frank. What am I wearing? Your other clothes had blood on them. I thought you'd like this dress. Who are you, really? A double agent? Not exactly. That's it. I'm calling my team. No! No phone calls! I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to yell. John, what is going on? I can't take any chances. It's complicated, Maya. Uh, my head... Let me look at you. Is it bad? I think you're gonna need stitches. Yeah, I think you are too. Uh! Pizza Town, can we help you? Yes, I'd like to place a very special order. Please state your information. 
This is Agent 22 Foster requesting immediate backup. Connecting you to the director. Maya, where the hell are you? Um, it looks like some sort of Airbnb. John's unconscious. Stay on the line. I'm tracking your location now. Okay, please hurry. You sure you're all right, Maya? Yeah, I'm fine. Sir, he's waking up. Guys, wait, please, listen to me. Stop resisting, John. You're under arrest. No, you don't understand. She's in danger. She'll be under our protection. You don't get it. I told them everything about her. Please, Maya, listen to me. Get him out of here. Let's go, Mr. Grayson. No, wait! Trust me. Your eyes. Hello. Maya, John's escaped. He what? We believe him. Sir, hello? John? Ese placolo. Capito, capito. Trovala. Yes, sir. We know you are here. Look at this way. I see her. <laughs> Pathetic. John? Are you okay? I'm fine. What are you doing here? I'm here to save you. Well, you're a little late for that. I already took out all your men. No, Maya. There's more. Okay, what'd you get? <gasps> a mermaid! What? I mean, that would explain the pink in her hair. Honey, she's lying. No, it really says that. Shh, that is enough of your nonsense. Hi, pretend mermaid. We know that's not your hair. It is. Okay, let's see. Ow! You probably glued it. Don't lie about your future. I'm not. It really does say that. Mermaids don't exist. Stop trying to get attention. Hey, how was your day? Horrible. No one believes me. <sighs> Honey, there's something I need to tell you. What are you talking about? Your mom and I aren't your real parents. What? We found you as a baby by the beach, and that was in your hands. So, let me get this straight. You found me on the beach as a baby, holding this necklace? Yeah, honey, I know this is a lot to take in. Well, I mean, didn't you look for my parents? They, they could have been around somewhere. We did. We were the only ones at that beach. It was a private beach. But you know, I really do believe your future. And I think your real parents are still out there. Do you really think so? Yeah, I do. I think you should wear the necklace. What is going on? Dad told me the truth about everything. What? We agreed to wait until she was 18. <laughs> no, look, I know now that my future is true, and I think this might be the key to me finding my real parents. Give me that. No more nonsense. But that's mine. As your mother, it belongs to me. He told her everything. I know her transformation is coming. That's why I need you to get over here to help me with her. Get in the car, we're leaving. Wait, what? Hello, nice to meet you, Marlena. What is going on? What is this place? This is my laboratory. I study your kind. My kind? Yes, mermaids, of course. But I thought mermaids didn't exist. Right, Mom? I actually believe your future, honey. You made me feel like I was crazy. I was just trying to protect you. No, I want to go home. But Merlina, look what I have. We just want to help you transform. And you can find your real parents. Do you promise? Yes. We just want to help. So what do you need me to do? Okay, now repeat after me. I wish I was a mermaid. I wish I was a mermaid. It's working. The necklace is magic. Our future is changing. Oh no, you can't breathe? <gasps> you were right, she is the princess. I can't believe she's a princess. This is amazing. Mom, you're awake. How do you know my future? Shh, just rest. I don't feel good. I know, honey. It's because you're still in your mermaid form. It's okay, we got you a tank. Tank? Yes, but in the meantime, we have you hooked up to two IV machines. We just need a few more blood samples. Can you believe mermaids have blue blood? Honey, can you hear me? Dad? Yeah, it's gonna be okay. This has gotta come off. Hey, you feel better, right? Yes, how did you know that would turn me back human? Because your real mother had one just like it. You see, one day I was out fishing and I noticed a woman asking for help on the shore. She was a mermaid, and after I saved her, we fell in love. 
she got this magic necklace from her father that she said helped her stay human. But the day I proposed, she left me. Why? Wait, so does that mean you're my real dad? Yeah, I think I am. For many years, I didn't believe it. Because when Sylvia left me, she didn't say why. She was a queen. Wait, what? Why do you say that? My future. It changed a princess after I put on that necklace. Oh my gosh, so your mom was a queen. She must have left me to go back to her people. But I don't understand. If mom left you, then how was I born? Well, I realized something. I think your mom was pregnant when she left me. Because nine months later, I found this on the beach. This was me? <laughs> yep. I think your mom left you there for me so you could have a normal life. But that really wasn't the case. As soon as you learned how to crawl, all you wanted to do was go in the water. You loved anything that had to do with the ocean. And my new wife started to catch on. That's not normal. Where did she get that pink streak? She became obsessed with researching things about you, but she never wanted you to know. That's right, I didn't. I'm not letting you ruin my research. You have water powers. Use them. What are you doing? Making sure you don't bother me ever again. Ah! Merlina, that was amazing. Red alert. We have to go, come on. All right, you got the necklace on. Now wish to be a mermaid. But dad. I'm sorry, but that scientist told too many people about you. You're not safe here anymore. You belong under the sea with your real mom. That's the police. You gotta make the wish now. When you find your mom, tell her I love her. I will never forget you. I'll find a way to see you again. I love you. I wish to be a mermaid. <gasps> mom? No, it can't be. Darling? It's you, my baby. I knew you'd find me. My lost daughter has returned. This has been waiting for you. You are now Princess Merlina. All hail your new mermaid princess. Please wish for me to pass my test. What? No, leave me alone. How do you have one wish left? Everyone used theirs up as kids. Well, I was a very smart child and I saved mine. Hey, looking nice today. Do you want to sit next to me for lunch or? You know, my car broke down today. Oh, so this is why you wanted to sit with me? No, I mean, I wanted to- Save it, Grayson. You just want to use me like everyone else. Can you please wish for- Stop it. Everywhere I go, people are asking me for wishes like I'm some sort of genie. So you know what? I wish for everyone to have three more wishes. Hey, I didn't get any more. What happened? I wish for you to stop talking. Mmm. I have unlimited wishes. Bro, she can give us anything we want. <gasps> get her! She has infinite wishes, get her! I wish I was home. Honey, you're home early. Yeah, I actually got unlimited- Uh-huh, that's nice. Are you even listening to me? Sorry, can't hear you. I wish for her to take her AirPods off and to smash them on the floor. <gasps> Why did I just do that? Hey, it's Wish Girl. I have a name. Yeah, but no one cares. Now give us wishes. Oh, I don't think so. I wish for everyone at this school to forget that I have unlimited wishes. Wait, what was I talking to you about? Don't move. I wish. Uh-uh, don't even think about it. Read what's on the paper. I am not reading this. Read it or things are gonna get ugly. I wish to become a genie. Great, now come with me. Where are we? Your new home. What? How do you even know me? Someone at your school told me yesterday. Oh man, I should have wished for everyone to forget sooner. You're gonna give me wishes. Not gonna happen. Oh, yes it is. I wish to be a billionaire. You must hold hand to activate wish. Oh, okay. Come here. No way. I just got a billion dollars in my account. Now I wish for a horse. <laughs> nice. Now I wish for a Rolex watch. Can I please take a break now? I'm tired. You're lucky I'm a nice guy. All right, you can have a little break. Come on. You know, when I said I wanted to sit down, this wasn't what I meant. Enough complaining. Don't make me wish for you not to speak. <sighs> what am I gonna do? I wish that I was free. Error. You may only grant wishes for others. Psst, Melanie. Grayson? What are you doing here? I saw that guy take you, so I followed you. Why didn't you just call the police? Oh, maybe I should have done that. Okay, I'll go call them right now. No, 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 wait. Actually, you can help me. All you have to do is just say one wish. What? A wish? Just wish for me not to be a genie anymore. But everyone used up all their- Damn it, Grayson. Just repeat after me. I wish. I wish. For Melanie to not be a genie anymore. For Melanie not to be a genie anymore. Hey! <laughs> 
I wish for him to disappear. That's not gonna work. I wish I was free. Out of wishes. Okay, guess that's not gonna work either. <laughs> Grayson, a little help, please. What are you gonna do, kid, huh? I was thinking of doing this. Oh, that's what you get, creep. You okay? Yeah. Oh, here. The cops found these on him. Thanks. I guess those Taekwondo classes really paid off. Yeah, but can you explain what the genie stuff was all about? You know, I wish I could, but I think it's best if I don't.